Hey there, Mr. Olson here. How's it going? You doing good? I'm doing good. Well, I'm doing alright. And alright's good enough. I'm doing great. Solve each equation, tell how many solutions it has. So, problem number one, 3w plus 9 equals 7w minus 11. So, pause the video, try these out. And we're back. Um, I'm actually going to go over problem number two with you guys. Both of these have only one solution. One, well, one you should get one solution on. This one, we add 4x to each side. So 7x plus 2 equals 25. Subtract 2 from each side. 7x equals 23. Divide by 7. x equals 23 over 7. That is one solution, okay? A lot of people think that's no solution because you can't divide that evenly. No, there's a solution that just isn't exactly the neatest solution ever. You know, it's a bit more complicated than that. Today's objective, we can recognize, recognize the number of solutions and do great on the quiz. And today's quiz is all about recognizing number of solutions. It's going to be great. Try out these two here. Pause. And we're back. Number three, so we combine that together, that gives you 7y plus 3. On the other side, we have 7y plus 21. Subtract 7y from each side. 3 equals 21. Those aren't equal, so it's no solution. No solution only happens if you have nothing if you have nothing left as far as unknowns and they aren't equal to each other, the stuff you have left. No solution. Okay. Um, yeah. So no solution. We can try out some numbers for this um, to check that. Uh, yeah. So we put in, let's say, 2. 5 times 2 plus 3 plus 2 times 2 equals 7 times 2 plus 3. So 5 times 2, that's 10. 10 plus 3 plus 4. Here, 2 plus 3, that's 5. 7 times 5. So that's 17 equals 35. Those are not equal. And they're each in a part of the those words. So that confirms no solution. Here, multiply that out. 4z plus 6 equals 29 plus 4z minus 5. Uh, wait, subtract those. 29 minus 5 is 24. Oh, that's not 4z plus... Oh my gosh, I am all types of bad at this problem, apparently. 4z plus 24. Subtract 4z from each side. 24 equals 24. Check. So that means that z can equal anything. It can equal all real numbers. And there are a total of infinitely many solutions. Which that's kind of the key thing on this quiz is identifying infinitely many solutions, no solutions, or one solution. Okay. Let's just check a number on this. Let's go with 1, why not? So 4 times 1 plus 6, that's 4 times 7, that's 28. On the other side, 29 plus 4 times 1, which is just 4, minus 5. 29 plus 4 is 33, minus 5, 28. Yay. These ones here, identify if there's one solution, no solutions, or infinitely many solutions, based off of how an equation ends. Pause the video. Okay, so 5 equals 5, that's infinitely many. x equals negative 4.2, that is one solution. 3 equals 7, those are not equal, no solution. x equals square root of 5, one solution, one. 4 equals negative 4, those are not equal, no solutions. And x equals x, there's infinitely many solutions there, yay. Try out these ones here, they're each a step or two away from telling how many solutions there are. Pause the video. And we're back, number 11, you can divide each side by 8, giving you x equals 1, which is one solution. Number 2, you can subtract 5x from each side, giving you 3 equals 2, not true, no solutions. Three, or 13, subtract 3x from each side, leaving you with 4 equals 4. Those are equal, so there's infinitely many solutions. 5, you can divide both sides by 5. 15, you divide both sides by 5. Why do I keep on saying the number? Anyway, give you x equals 9 fifths, which is one solution. 
15, this is what throws people off the most. We can add 5x to each side, giving you 3 equals 10x minus 3. We can actually finish solving that, giving us one solution. As soon as you can get to where all the unknowns are on one side of the equation, there's one solution. 6, that one, 1 times 6, 1 times x is x, so 16, x equals 4, one solution. Next up, big, complicated, terrible equations. Here's the trick to these. These ones, and there will be one like this on the quiz, where I want you to uh, tell how many solutions there are by substituting in numbers. So let's just try out two random numbers. I recommend zero, and uh, zero is always a good number to try out, just because it's simple. Put in a zero for x on this one, we get three times zero plus four, which is just four. Three times four plus 17 equals 5 times 0 minus 1, that's negative 1, plus 28. 3 times 4 is 12, 12 plus 17, that's 29. And the other side, 5 times negative 1, that's negative 5, plus 28, 23. Those aren't equal. That does not mean there's no solutions. If we'd solved it to get this, then that would probably mean no solutions. All this means is there are not infinitely many. It's not all real numbers because we just tried 0 and it didn't work. Let's try another number, like say 3. 3 times 3 plus 4 plus 17 equals 5 times 3 minus 1. 3 is my favorite number, so it's nice to try. 3 plus 4, that's 7. 3 times 7 plus 17, so that's 21 plus 17, giving you 38. On the other side, 3 minus 1, that's 2, so 5 times 2 plus 28. 5 times 2, that is 10. 10 plus 28, 38. Hey, there's a solution. There is one solution, it must be 3. Now, even if we tried out something else and got in some other thing, in class, for instance, several classes said 4, and they ended up with, I think it comes out to be, if you put in a 4 for x, you get 41 equals 43. If we just get things that are different amounts apart from what this was, that means it's not no solutions. These were six apart, these are two apart. Not no solutions. No solutions yet have the exact same distance apart each time. Let's try out number 18. Put in some numbers. Let's go with a uh, one first. Five times one minus four plus three equals two times one plus 10 plus three times one. One minus four, that's negative three. So five times negative three plus three. Five times negative three, that's negative 15 plus three negative 12. Over here, 2 plus 10 plus 3, 15. So it could be one solution, could be no solutions. If we put in, uh, if you look at this, these are 27 apart, so when you put another number, it better be 27 apart, it's going to be no solution. Let's put it to 5. 5 is a nice number. 5 times 5 minus 4. Okay, 5 is not a nice number, it's not one of my favorites, but it will still be okay. The nice thing with 5 is this right side, that everything's multiplied by 5. So here, 5 minus 4, that is 1, so 5 times 1, which is 5, plus 3, plus 3, that's 8. On the right side, that's 10, plus 10, plus 15, so that's 25, and something went wrong here. Oh, 35. There we go. And those are 27 apart again, so no solution. Here, one solution. 19, 6 plus 4 times in parentheses x plus 6 equals 2 parentheses x plus 15 plus 2x. So distribute the 4 to the x into the 6. Wait, no. We're just trying random numbers. Let's go with 0 again. I like that in that first problem. So 6 plus 4 times 0 plus 6 equals 2 times 0 plus 15 plus 2 times 0. So that's gone entirely. This doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. So 4 times 6 is 24. 6 plus 24. Over here, 2 times 15 is 30. Let's try it again. 30. 6 plus 24, 30. 30 equals 30. So we have at least one solution. 0 may be the only solution. There may be other solutions. Let's find out. Let's put in a 4. Why not? 6 plus 4 times 4 plus 6 equals 2 times 4 plus 15 plus 2 times 4. 
So 4 plus 6, that's 10. 4 times 10 plus 6, that's 40 plus 6, 46. Other side, 4 plus 15, that is 19 times 2 is 38. 2 times 4 is 8. 38 plus 8, 46. Hey, how about that? 20, 21, 22. This is graphing the expressions on the left and right side of the equation. Graphing the stuff. If the, with graphing them, where the graphs cross is the solution. Let me repeat that, where the graphs cross is the solution. So if you can tell which one of these problems is infinitely many, which one is no solutions, which one is one solution. Pause the video, and we're back. Number 20, because they, oh, they cross at one point, is one solution. 21, they cross at no points, so there are no solutions. And 22, they cross at all points, so it's infinitely many solutions. Try out these three here. Pause. And we're back. 23, no solution. They don't cross anywhere. 24, they're crossing every point. Every point is in common there. Infinite many solutions. 25, they cross at exactly one point, so one solution. Next page. Nothing. 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 Alright, I give up. This lesson must be over. You guys have a good one. See you around.